video response about a question we had regarding physics 6b electrostatic. Hi guys, so here's another one from those integration problems we, we didn't quite get to. So if you look at this guy, here's the problem set up. I'm probably going to move him, but I just want to open this up. So you've got this guy, it has uniform charge density, let's say lambda. Remember what that means. That means the total, you take the charge, you divide by the length, and you get its charge density. Okay? Then what we're going to do is sit him here with the x axis, put him right in the middle over here. Okay? And then we'll give it total length, let's say, of L. Okay, no big deal. Then the idea was take a point P, some distance, again, that's fixed. So Y is not a variable. They pick Y for you, they pick the length for you. Okay? And then the question was, what is the electric field at the point P? Okay? One suggestion they gave you was something like this. There's some fixed angle. Again, this angle will be determined, right? It's fixed. If you know all this other stuff, you can figure out the angle for sure. Okay, the angle's fixed, and then their idea, so they kind of gave you a hint with this, is why don't you compute this guy by integrating this in So, number one, same procedure as always. What I want to do is, remember, for a point charge, the electric field is kq over r squared. But, what I'm going to do is fraction this guy, pretend like itty bitty pieces behave like point charges and then compute the tiny bits of field produced by these tiny point charges, right, or wannabe point charges, and then add everything up to get the total field. So it follows the same pattern. If you want a little bitty piece of field produced by a little bitty piece of charge, it should look like this. Everybody agree? It's going to be a little bit more complicated, well, different from the last problem we did, but let's give this a try. Okay. So I already know my pattern. We're going to sum up all of these little pieces of field what does that mean? We're going to sum up k dq over r squared. So let's try this out. Like usual, constants are your friends, so always I'm going to pull him out. Ooh. That's not good. Let me get something that looks like this. Okay. So how do I figure out that little bitty piece of, well, q basically, right? The charge. So we'll do this. Let me take this away. In fact, why don't I break this problem into pieces? Even though this is where x is and this is the midpoint, right? Let's look at this. First, does everyone agree? If you had a little bitty piece of positive charge here, he, and this guy, remember, assume there's a one coulomb charge here, it would push this guy away like that. So this guy would push that guy away. And over on the opposite side, there's another guy that do the same thing, but up at this angle. And you guys agree, as far as, well, I didn't draw it that well, but as far as the horizontal components go, they would cancel out. So again, I don't have to worry about the left and right thing. However, in the up thing, you can clearly see they add together. Does everybody agree on this? Okay. Since they're going to add together in pieces, what I want to do is I want to just take care of this, right? I want to deal with just this side, and I know that it's going to give me a net up this way. I know this guy should do the same thing, and I'll add them together in the end. In other words, I'll compute this effect, and then I'll double it. Okay? And all I'm computing, though, is the vertical component. Because I know when I do it for real, the horizontals will cancel out. Okay, so let's go for that. So now, working on this, I have k integral, and then again, dq over r squared. That gives me the entire thing. So let's look at this angle theta. If I'm looking at this angle theta, right? Remember, we don't have to worry about the horizontal. Right now, we're getting the whole thing. We want only the part that's vertical. But in this picture, relative to the theta, the vertical is what? Is that adjacent or opposite? Looks like adjacent, right? So this is going to be cosine theta. Okay, no big deal. Now let's keep this going. I think the next thing I want to do, so again, copy this out because of your friends. Look at dq. I want to write dq out, right? Technically, I don't have a dq. They gave us a lambda. Well, I've erased the lambda, sorry. But lambda was q over l. Therefore, what happens with d? Multiply both sides by l. Lambda l is q. Therefore, if you look at a little bitty piece of charge, it would result from this same constant. Constants don't affect anything. But you don't use the whole length, right? A little bitty piece of charge only uses a little piece of the length. So I guess that would be dx. OK, so why don't we do that? First, let's translate and get lambda dx representing dq right, on top. And then still have our cosine theta. Um, and then come, off, come after r squared. So what would r squared be in this case? Well, it looks like r squared. So if you remember the original picture, this is my y. 
this would now be my x, right? So we're going to get something that looks like y squared plus x squared square root, just using Pythagorean, right? Because this is my arm. So if this is y, this is x, then this is the square root of x squared plus y squared, again, using Pythagorean. OK, so now we have something that looks like this. Uh, this too does Hi guys, sorry. So the board skipped around a little bit. One, because I wanted to put more room in there. And two, because I realized just a half a second ago, there was a slight typo. Everything we did was right. It's just that when I was following the pattern, remember, I have this, we have this, k, and then this is basically dq over r squared. I forgot the little squared part. So everything we have is right, except this is just r. Don't forget you have to square it. Okay? All right, so now that we have some room, let's go back to what we were talking about. What we said was, you've got theta, or theta, right? And you have x. So you have to decide which variable you like more. I think in this case, it doesn't really matter, but I'll try to work with theta, okay? So the goal is, get rid of x. So write x. Don't go away yet, we just finished part one. Be sure to click on part two.